Hi, this is Michael, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to recalibrate your ThermPro TP19 digital meat thermometer. Now, when you get this from the factory, it should have been calibrated, so you probably won't even need to do this. But in case you've had the thermometer for quite a while and you just don't think it's being as accurate as it should be, you might want to try a recalibration and see if that improves the situation. So you're going to need a couple of things before we begin. You need to get a uh, glass of water. It should be either distilled water or filtered water, according to the instructions. You want to fill that with ice, and then you want to fill about 30% with the same filtered water as well. The ice should be made out of filtered or distilled water and the water itself should be filtered or distilled. So get that ready and let that sit there for a couple minutes to make sure the water is as chilled as it can possibly be. Next thing you're gonna need is the little screwdriver that came with your thermometer. If you can't find it, then a Phillips head, any Phillips head you might have, should work. So unscrew the screw on the battery compartment door and we're gonna remove the battery compartment door and underneath that, we are going to find the calibration button. Now the calibration button is a very tiny button right here, and you're gonna press that and hold it for five seconds. And after you do that, you're gonna see C-A-L on the main display here. So we need to turn the thermometer on first, so just pull it out of its resting position. That'll turn the thermometer on. And uh, once it's on, I'm gonna put my finger on the button first because it's kind of hard to find it if you're not looking at it. And then I'm going to insert the probe into the chilled water and this theoretically should be at 32 degrees, which it is. So right off the bat I can tell you my thermometer does not need calibration, but we'll go through the process anyway. So now I'm going to push the calibration button on the back for five seconds. We should see the display change to CAL. And once it does, there it is, I'm going to push that button one more time and that has recalibrated the thermometer and that's all there is to it. Now let's say that you want to go back to the default calibration for whatever reason that might be. Well, we're going to essentially do the same thing. Turn the thermometer on, get your finger on that button before you turn it around, plunge it into that cold water, wait till it stabilizes the temperature. All right, that seems to be where it wants to settle. So I'm gonna push the calibrate button once again, hold it for five seconds. Calibrate appears. Now we're gonna push the lock button. And by doing that, that is going to get back to the factory calibration. So let's turn the thermometer off and we'll just turn it back on again and plunge it into the cold water just to see if we get an accurate temperature of 32 again. There we go. You know, it's going to fluctuate a little bit. There we go, 32 degrees. It is going to fluctuate a little bit. Uh, you just need to j jiggle the water around a little bit. Now, the only caveat about doing calibration is once you push the calibrate button, uh, once it goes into calibration mode, you only have 15 seconds to complete the operation or it will just automatically end the calibration mode and go back to the normal display. So that is how you calibrate and return the default calibration to your ThermPro TP19. Hope you found this helpful. Uh, thanks a lot for watching and we'll catch you the next time. Take care.